it is suddenly feeling very autumnal, isn't it? Today on the Grow Along, we're going to be sowing our wild carrot. It benefits from a bit of pre-chilling. So if you're looking for your seeds, they're in the fridge. This is Dorcas Carota. One of my absolute favourite, favourite, favourite autumn jump starters to grow. Look at it. It's just magnificent. Wild carrot is extremely hardy. It will survive temperatures down as low as minus 20 degrees and it actually benefits from some cool growing conditions for good seedling establishment, which makes it perfect for an autumn jump starter. However, the one thing that wild carrot does not tolerate is excessively wet conditions. It can suffer from a leaf wilting disease. So that's the reason why I will sow and grow it under cover in my cold greenhouse during the winter and I won't plant it out until very early in the spring. So I've opened the envelope and the foil carefully so I can pop any seeds back in that I don't need just at the moment. Here are the wild carrot seeds. Now they need light for germination, so we're not going to cover them. And I'm just going to sow one seed per cell onto the surface of the compost. Now it's not essential that you chill your wild carrot seeds ahead of sowing. You can just leave them in the greenhouse and let mother nature get on with it. The fluctuating autumn temperatures will do the work for you. But if you're an impatient gardener, this is just a little trick to jumpstart the seeds into slightly faster germination. There we go. Don't forget your label. And then we're just going to pop them on a bright shelf in the greenhouse where the fluctuating autumn temperatures will work their magic. So fast forward about three weeks can, can you see the germination is occurring it's erratic so it looks a little bit patchy at the moment however they are all coming the warm daytime temperatures in the greenhouse and the cool nights are working their magic you can see look so have patience don't worry it's an autumn jump starter so there is absolutely no rush The, uh, <laughs> the wild carrot has gone wild. And this is my wild carrot. So it's inside at the minute, but it can go outside. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably try this afternoon to see if I can fit in potting it on because they are doing, look how well they're doing now. Doing really well. There's a few, look, see? Some of them come up sooner than others. Some of the germination is a bit slower. Um, and what you can do is you can just cherry pick. You can pot on the bigger boys and then just leave the smaller ones where they are once these are out of the way actually they'll have more light so they'll have a better chance of growing so just leave the smaller ones in the tray and pot the bigger ones on i'm just bringing the wild carrot out to go under the cold frames it's very hardy but it was further behind some of the other plants so i left it in the greenhouse for a little while but i think it'll be happier out here so I'm going to pop that under the cold frame. They don't like getting excessively wet. So if you do put them outside, make sure that they do have protection from the rain. Otherwise you could kill them off. So here are our wild carrot. Now, these will turn into absolute whopper plants. So you want the spacing to be 30 centimetres rather than the usual 22. This is the wild carrot. It's looking really healthy, right on track. Flowers a tiny touch later than the ammy. This dry weather is right up their street. They really are not keen on wet foliage. So they're looking very happy indeed. Now I've sown slightly more plants than I need. They've got a wider spacing than something like Larkspur, for example, which is coming up next on the Grow Along, um, which has got 22 centimetre spacing. These have got a 30 centimetre spacing, so you don't need as many plants, but I've sown just as many because they are very low growing until we get into spring when they start to shoot up, which means they do very well in two litre containers. And then you've got them to plug any gaps in your garden as everything starts emerging later on. And if you are in an area 
which does suffer from excessively wet conditions or if you've got excessively wet soil please add some grit to the planting hole i will remind you later then if worst happens and some of your carrot plants do succumb to the leaf blight you've got backup plants so you can just whip out the ones that have died two litre pots go in nobody will know this is wild carrot. I've been growing a few things in pots for a bit longer just to see how they get on and providing you give them enough root space to grow. They do bulk up quite well. The problems arise when you leave them in their small trays for too long and then they start shooting. So just like the Ami Majors, the wild carrot has got a very small root compared to the eventual size of the plant. So we wanna make sure that we stake it really well. I usually plant my Amimagus and my wild carrot side by side. They look beautiful together. Flower around the same time and they need the same spacing and the same staking. So it just makes life really easy. So this is an example for you. This is wild carrot. And can you see how slender the root system is? Now what can happen is if you don't adequately stake your tall plants like wild carrot, Ami Majus, they've got such a slender root system that the wind can then blow them backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. And eventually the roots can be ripped away from the soil and lose their ability to take up water from the soil. And the plant will then very quickly start to die. And this is carrot. So this is the reason why we don't pinch because they put up a stem from the base, which is different to some of the other plants. But yeah, lovely ferny leaves, beautiful. Um, and these will go on way into summer. So lots of support for those. Um, so if you are going to put them in the ground without Neil's cages, then make sure that you give them a cane. Do it now. Do it now when you don't need to, it's much easier. Just tucking in. The carrot's trying to escape, so I'm just making sure I tuck them in. So the right side, oh, that one's got caught, there we go. Just give them a quick check, just to make sure they're the right side of your stakes. There's another one, and just, while it's bendy and young, you can just pop it under. There we go, marvellous. Oh my goodness, look at this carrot. It is stunning. Absolutely beautiful, so easy to grow. It does like the cold stratification of an autumn sowing. So if you are tempted, make sure you put this on your list. I think we sold out of this last year. It was so popular. It's really worth it. I mean, look how chunky these stems are absolutely cracking plant i can't do without this look at the different colors wow look at that and look how strong the stems are so they're really easy to arrange with all the key points for growing wild carrot are also included in your autumn jump starter handbook is the wild carrot all done in the next video we're going to be sowing our larkspur. Hooray, it's finally cool enough. So I will see you then.